this new restaurant called Gol. It is one of the most ambitious Korean barbecues I've seen anywhere, and that's because they have their own dry aging room. They don't do this in Korea. You guys just opened here like a couple of months ago. It's been like eight, eight weeks. And so where's the name from? Gol. Gol is Korean word for flour. Of course, I love Cote de Boeuf and you know, Cote Roti. I've had dry aged beef for Korean barbecue, but never at a place that actually does it themselves. So why did you guys do that? So I love steak. I also love Korean barbecue. And I love how each bite is like the first bite at steakhouses. So why don't we just put the dry aged premium quality USD prime meat and Korean barbecue format and put it together. You had another restaurant, Piora, mm -hmm. and that was a Michelin starred restaurant. Is it your goal to get Michelin stars? The goal would be to create a restaurant that Korean Americans can be really proud of. Uh, Non-Korean, like New Yorkers, can really feel, have that accessibility and excitement and familiarity while uh, being able to enjoy the authenticity of Korean barbecue. Dry aging room was phenomenal. It was just so cold in there, but I mean, just to see all those full ribeyes there, just dry aging for months at a time. Oh my God, I'm like, I have never seen Did I somebody mention ribeyes? Hey, hey! So this is uh, very exciting. Yes, I already had you in, in LA, but you know what? We had to do barbecue together. It was just like fate. What is dry aging? What is that gonna do to the experience? When you dispatch an animal, to get that meat to be tender, and flavorful, you need to age it. And that's accomplished in two ways. One is wet aging, where you basically stick it in a bag. Yeah. Enzymes on the outside actually tenderize the meat inside, breaking down the connective tissue, making it easy to cut, easy to chew. Wet aging accomplishes tenderness, but it does absolutely nothing for flavor. The other way of aging beef is dry aging, and that's when you literally take big chunks of beef and you hang them in a room or you put them up on a shelf in a very temperature controlled environment. A mold forms on the outside. This mold protects the beef from rotting and at the same time releases enzymes in the same way that wet aging beef, but beyond that, it introduces a tertiary flavor. Think about wine, think about cheese. It's actually the same enzyme. Wow. If we're gonna go to the rib, let's cook some of the outside. Let's also cook some of the inside, the eye. You can actually see the dry aging process. They don't always trim it away. Oh, that's just crazy. Right? That's like jerky right here on well, the that's, outside. Yeah, you're smelling the room that you were just in, right? Like that is redolent right there. Oh, it almost reminds me of like an egg yolk. Interesting, so there's, there's, there's a rich. creaminess to it. Yeah, it's, wow. Now that's the extreme, right? Because that is the absolute edge. We're now gonna eat from the eye, and let's see how much of that flavor permeated in. It's perfect. That was steakhouse quality steak. I'm like, they nailed everything. Maybe one of the best bites I've had at a Korean barbecue. Are you just gonna eat that? Try beef, well, why wouldn't you eat this? It's got peer pressure. You can taste the age, taste the beef. I like it, but I think it actually, it gets way more flavor when you, when you grill it. A hang of steak's a great steak. You don't get super thinly shaved pieces like tadobegi or something. You're getting, I mean, these are just mini steak. You see that even bronzing? The Maillard reaction. That's right, the, yeah. the Maillard reaction. And that's yes. basically the proteins to be converted. And that's what oh, gives beef man. that flavor that we really crave. Is it too hot? Oh. Perfectly cooked. Wow. I so like that texture. Crossing it very I like much. the differentiation. It's just satisfying It's interesting and it. it gives you a great flavor. Mm -hmm. This is gen deep. So this is a Korean perillo leaf. It look, almost looks like a shisu, like a shisu leaf. Oh man, look, look at the juices that are coming right. out of this. That's incredible. This is samjang. Everyone makes it a little bit different, but at its core, it's fermented um, soybean paste. This is a scallion, scallion salad. Scallion salad, yeah. Mm -hmm. Should I be using my chopsticks? No, no, this is hand food right here. It's so wonderful when it works in concert together. So this is chuck flap. This is imperial beef. It's a wagyu. I believe it's a hybrid. So they, they cross a true Japanese breed with like a black Angus. Oh yeah, this is cooking really fast. It's so much more tender. It melts away in your mouth. The fat is nice. It's complimentary. It's, it doesn't have too much funk. 
obviously you wouldn't generally drink red wine with a Korean barbecue. Maybe. Oh, why not? I think you totally okay. can. And I okay. think that this, when, when you're at a place that's kind of this nice, you can break through that and not have to get soju. Cheers. So this is probably, you have a richness of sesame oil and you have some savoriness coming from soy sauce. And then you get some sweetness from either sugar or sometimes they use Coke. Coca-Cola? Yep, and then they put garlic in here. I mean, there's just a bunch of aromatics and different flavorings. Very sweet smelling. Oh yeah. Mm. That's great. This is certainly one of the best quality Harvey pieces I've had. You think a piece of kimchi on here would be oh, good? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. That's sure, it's delicious. I don't know what else you could need on this. Gentlemen, I'm so to throw. Oh, hold on a second. I think we might have found something. So this is a pretty special cut. So it's actually a 120 day uh, dry age. Uh, wow. Solo, eh? Wait, this is older than your restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> the texture of it. Yeah, it's much. It's much firmer, yeah, right? You can yeah. feel that the tensile strength of it. It's going to be tender, though. I guarantee you. Giving out so much smoke. It will cook differently because it has much less moisture. And look how like it didn't even really brown up. No, but it's also that you can feel that it's just heavy, right? Yes. Compared yeah, to you're a right. piece it has of a that density beef. that's different. Mm. That is unbelievable. That's like beef cheese. The funk is on every bite. I think actually kimchi, I think that's genius because there is an acidity to kimchi. Mm -hmm. Kimchi has a freshness, a crunch, acidity. And a spice to it. Yep, it totally balances it out. It's almost like uh, when you have like fruit with cheese, you just kind of need those counterpoints. Right. This is a, a Korean barbecue destination. Just no instantly. Doubt. It is, no, it's it, also a carnival's destination. I'm gonna stop talking. I wanna eat all this. So. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want to see more of K-Town, click right here. We're just using modern techniques that we have from training here in New York City. May that be French or Italian. You can still apply.